Science Centre was built with the purpose of promoting, loving, learning, enjoying of science and technology and creativity. And our vision is a science centre where science befriends and transforms minds of millions so that our young people will grow up loving science and technology and therefore can contribute towards the innovation-based industry in Singapore and also the global economy. We do that to a lot of very immersive, interactive activities. E3, our latest exhibition, stands for Immersive Experiential Environments. The whole idea or concept is really to introduce people uh, to virtual reality and immersion technologies. We found that the appeal of such emerging technologies is that they help our visitors grasp difficult concepts of science that would otherwise be a bit more challenging. The idea for the centre then is not to become a vessel of information, but to become a provocator in a sense, to encourage people to find inroads to science and then to stay glued to it once they get excited. It was a huge gallery. It was a very different space when we first inherited it. And the challenge was literally to translate seven meter walls into interactive projections that could capture people's attention. In terms of uh, image quality, what we were searching for is really depth of colour, richness of the image. We need colours to be brought out to be vibrant, reliability of the technology as well. So putting in place some of the basic bare bones infrastructure that we need to then facilitate change out every year uh, was crucial for us to find something that was robust that would fit our settings. The exhibit consists of a virtual aquarium with interactive elements and also a cube mountain light structure with projection mapping contents. Due to the tight space that we have and also the high definition resolution that we want to achieve, we need projectors that can be portrait mounted with short throw lenses. The projectors are expected to last for five years throughout the length of the exhibition. The laser projector is designed to have up to 20,000 hours of illumination light, so we do not have to maintain it like how lamp projectors require. This is also the first long-term exhibition project in Singapore using a large deployment of laser projectors. Laser light source is the future for projection and it can cater to technology advancements and contents that are being refreshed. There was a definite wow factor. I mean, there's this overwhelming, the, the light, the sound, it's coming at you from all sides. All the walls have very different projections that are very exciting to look at. That kind of blew me away when I stepped in. That's how I think you should actually teach kids, which is to have them interact. Right now, is we have to cater to the market, which is our younger generation. And they need more visual stimulation compared to our generation. With this experience, I definitely get to know more about what's under the water, how beautiful this experience is. Science Centre is into innovation, is into creating new technology and new possibilities. In terms of uh, matching with Panasonic, a brand that is leading in terms of uh, thinking, creativity and all that, it's a perfect match. For E3 to be immersive, it's very important that the projection system can create this immersive environment to embrace the people into a world that is transcends physical sense. It's very important that we make the projection system so impressive to bring out that total immersion experience. And for that, we put the Exhibition E3 as powered by Panasonic. Panasonic.